So you want to be good to those of the household of faith. Why? Because you want to accelerate your due. Season correctly. So what you would do now for this live streaming, this is a household of faith. You have an opportunity to program your season that is around the corner. Because <laughs> you are due. How about you? Now, let's go back to our lesson. As long as we. As long as we can wait for the proper sequence of events to play out, we will see how the universe reacts. An important aspect of the law of compensation is to remember, for everything you lose, you gain something. Well, for everything you lose, you gain something. And you know, Master Prophet, that is so powerful because I'm reminded in the scripture where it says that I force balance as abomination before the Lord. So the universe is always seeking balance. So it's like the more you give, the more you're going to get because the universe is always seeking balance. The universe is not imbalanced, but it's a universe of balance. It's a universe of cause and effect. Mm. Okay, very good. Continue reading. God has ordained seasons for loss and seasons for compensation. But if you have no way of knowing which seasons come at which times, for there is a different cycle of seasons for humans in each area of his or her earthly life, a job season, a money season, a relationship season, a house season, a health season, a child season, a faith season, a war season, and many others. Yes, and when we go to Ecclesiastes, it tells us that, that there is a time and a season for everything under the sun. What do you want to say about that, Prophet Thompson? And you know, Master Prophet, that just helps, helps us to understand that God, as seemingly um, inscribed within the universe, these seasons and these times, and um, they come on time. They never fail. Um, and you know, it says there's a time to be born, a time to die. And it, it goes on and it begins to give you the different times of and the seasons that are under the heavens. And once we begin to understand that they are set by God, then we begin to know how to work in sync with God so we might pass through his divine benefits. Amen. Okay. Continue reading. Since we have no way of knowing when a season is coming every day, is coming every day is a day of compensation, a day when we may either sow the seed or reap the harvest of, of some thoughts or actions. Whatever choice you make, you will reap the results of the unstoppable law of compensation. Mm. Mm. Now, I want everyone to type in the law of compensation is an unstoppable law. <coughs> Prophet Ralph, is that you? Prophet Ralph Voice? Yes, Master Prophet. That is you. Yes, it is me, Master Prophet. Okay. We heard a bunch of noise come through the line, that's why. Okay, so we have here the law of compensation is an unstoppable law. Prophet Ralph, did you get the lesson for today? The download? I know what's going on, Master Prophet. Okay. We'll put that's the, finished. Okay, we'll put the download inside the chat room so you can get it for today's lesson. The light that was in the chat room was the wrong light. It was a cause and effect. Um, no, it's the laws of compensation. I'm, I, I put it, I, I just put it in. Okay. So the law of compensation is an unstoppable law. Now, this is a very powerful point here. Because now we're going to start getting into some areas of understanding scientific prayer. But I'll continue reading. Prayer works in concert with the law of compensation. 
You cannot get something for nothing. Prayer does not resolve debt or erase, erase guilt. It sets the wheels of compensation in motion. You must see your very thoughts as seeds and the cosmos as the soil in which the seeds are sown. Nothing comes without a price. Your mm -hmm. thoughts will reap what you sow. Hate for hate, love for love, courage for courage. What you project into this world is what will be brought back to you. Good. We create our own futures. And I want anyone to type in that. We create our own futures. We create our own futures. Um, Prophetess Deborah, what does that say to you when we hear that? We create our own futures. Because, I mean, you're into time travel, sci-fi. Do they work with the future in a lot of the science fiction, what do you think? Yes, Master Prophet. In some places, they would say the future, there is no future. It's only the now. Um, because when you learn that powerful secret, you begin to live every day of your life as it is now. You don't put off today what you can, put off what tomorrow, what you can do right now. Because you're living in that perfect timing, which is the now. Okay, so let me just ask you something. So, let's say I was going to be 100 years old in 50 years. I'm really 100 years old now. It's all, there's nothing else but that. It's just a, 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 a look at time. Um, i never forget, Master Prophet, from years ago I read this book, Folding, A, a Wrinkle in Time. And, and they began to look at time as being folded. And, and whether you are 20, 30, 40, it's still just numbers that, 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 that they're really irrelevant. It's only, again, the now. So when we look into the future, we project into the future, but it's, which is really our now. Mm. So you mean I now am all that I will ever be? Well, Master Prophet, um, look at now faith. What, what is that? God is always whatever he is right, there, right here, right now. Because spirit is. Spirit does not change. And, and it's um, um, always like, um, uh, I'm reminded where it says, um, with matter, you cannot destroy matter. Matter just is. You can transform it, but you cannot destroy it. Matter will always be matter. You know, we, 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 we are probably coming into a very interesting age. Uh, my, uh, my son, Joshua, was in, um, uh, Prophet Alex Jackson says, A Wrinkle in Time was part of the English curriculum, Prophet Deborah. Mm. Okay, it's a book, too. It's a book, yes, it's it is a book. book. Yeah, I think she's saying that that, that book was part of the, the English, English curriculum. It's, part of yeah, the it's, a, it's a great book. Really? Yeah, and, and the author wrote other, other stories, too, about um, time travel and different things, and just looking at the way things were. And uh, it's just a shift of the matter, but yet it's the same. Mm. So at 100, I would just be shifted a little bit? Like just, sh just a shift. Like you know, you may have a little wrinkle here and there, but you're still you. You don't change because you're getting older. Well, honey, I heard black don't crack. So black I'm, 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 well, I'm, listen, it, I'm, I'm listen, really, let's I'm stay banking on that. On that. That's right. I'm banking on that, honey. I okay, will well, not mm -hmm. wrinkle. Amen. I, b I believe that. I hope I won't wrinkle, crack. crack. Hope the melon in my skin stay intact. <laughs> that I won't crack. But there is, but there is um, Botox, right? See, I, there's a lot of stuff they have out on the market. And what, right and what now. does the Botox show? But, well, um, strange you talking. I was talking. To, I went away for the weekend, and I was talking to one of the the, um, the women that took me there, and she was talking about different things. But they said Botox. You know, you don't want that. What does Botox do? Does it kind of pull? No, it doesn't pull. It, it really freezes the muscle. It I freezes said, the muscle. It freezes your so muscle. You and and that's why you see a lot of people that, that, that have done it. Um, it, it. It's like they can't smile. It's like it's frozen. Their muscle uh, underneath the skin is frozen. So there won't be any wrinkles or cracking. Instead of a wrinkle in time, you're frozen in time. <laughs> 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 I like that. You yeah, know, some, some has, some has, some has. You know, probably. Uh, I, like I like that. <laughs> but that's basically what Botox is. It freezes um, the, the muscle. And that's why every so often they have to go back and get it. I have never had Botox. You haven't? No, I have never have no how, desire. How, yeah, no I have desire. no desire to 